everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Puppets in the Green Mountains, 10th edition. Address. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Eric Bass, uh, co founder of. Um, compelled to do is to contextualize these performances um, opening the doors and that can mean many different things uh, but it definitely includes uh, opening the doors to anyone who has been locked outside in uh, the world of injustice or exclusion. Um, and so the shows, the shows in this festival all somehow address that, coming in at it from many different ways. It's contextualized are the, uh, the lunchtime uh, well, conversations. Uh, there was one today uh, at noon. Tomorrow at noon, there'll be um, tomorrow's is of our own theater adventure program. by John Potter. Uh, uh, and what that means for them as uh, creators, what it means for us as an audience, uh, what that means. Sunday at 12 o'clock. Shosh? And it's double from Taiwan. in Taiwan. So a lot of interesting people in the trenches, people in the uh, actively for change in other ways besides the art. Which brings me and <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> else was late, but that's okay. <laughs> Which brings us uh, to this afternoon's. Uh, this is our. I don't remember these things anymore. Sure, she's my memory. Um, and the keynote address uh, basically is. And activists' uh, perspective on this art form and and its relationship to the changes that we can make and the processes for doing that. Tracy Broyles is going to talk to you about. Let me present Sun, 
Every community owes its citizens from around the world who energies to making the on to leave their homelands and then can be counted. Open doors for those who come lands of the Abenaki and Mi'kmaq peoples. If I have left any out, I apologize. In a name, I also apologize. I'd like to aid, correct, peoples here. It is all I am a white brought those very diseases here. We imagine opened doors for including myself, have benefited to have come before us. And cultural erasure. They are not erased. It is my despite history, and it is my to attend because they were already elsewhere. A South African freedom song A printmaker in the struggle by the South African Defense Forces. In their lives, in the struggle for Over the years that so many And I remember by my last visit, embrace and warmth and entering events like festivals for so long to create safe space and simply to be. So when Eric, one of them, worked in art, puppetry, and acting, 
and support inclusive participation. And I have worked in and for justice and work towards experiences and reflections with you all. Collaboratively, but to stay. Alone in that work, well, to do my own work, to work <laughs> further, I've lived experiential real time my mind, which requires some kind of order. Besides, you are all puppets. Beautiful and inspiring and courageous work. What light can I shed on opening doors? Which doors you're trying to open? Before I go further, I'd like to share a few perspectives of importance, really just driven. Most of this is incredible. Breaking and likely these things. At Spiral, we came to employing the intuitive or haphazardly remembered became a rep specific ways of working, many of which were taught to us or subtly adjusted by teachers in resistance movements throughout collaborating communities. They are not my ways. They are not fixed. To be consistent does not. And they are not rules, but ways. And we to them, as well as offerings of any additional practices that may be home or host community may have standing practices that are useful and should Maybe habits that are no longer useful. The important thing is awareness, mindfulness, what I call for yourself as you need to. I know it's only 45 minutes or so, but still, the restrooms which are left, if you need to take a call or step or want to come sit on the floor instead of a chair, please do so. Just mind the set. your hand or some other visible or audible indication. It's a little hard to see y'all, so I'll put that to you to help. I'm able without losing my way. I'd love to. I may need help with that so I can keep the flow, but I certainly don't want to lose be key to the moment, and then diversion may reveal a new path. a keynote speech and not a workshop, but I'm not sure that that changes anything. Besides, I know some of us do better when we have something <laughs> So if any among you feel called to support me, and if that not, that's okay. So because of transparency is Reminding us to honor self-care, to respect inquiry, keep a waiting for many creative collaborations, skills, and needs in at whatever level and whatever and modes of entry, and so the role. Somebody would keep a running little sure somebody's got a pen. Volunteer in the room who would keep a uh, 
things in their own ways. I, the magical do. And I welcome anyone who wishes to share your illuminated manuscript. And we need a timekeeper today. Thirty. Thirty. Stopped talking. Um, and then together with your timekeeper. Is there anybody like me at about at six? So I know we're. Um, and then bring us into questions. Okay. Emotions or a temperature need today, but if somebody feels the person keeps an eye on the space, on the energy in the room. As you can have probably experienced, person flags when we might need to touch, breathe, sing, dance. Today's short, I feel like I said, I doubt we will need that. Room is always welcome. Thank you. Is that Randall? Then we have what we call a and they they notice you are able as when you important piece in terms of inclusion. Someone may be. Someone may be getting off work late I think there when, and arrive when they can. Keeper or host helps catch people up to speed so they can join. And there's more room over here and up. up. There's seats right here, only because I don't want to block you out. And I might turn my back on you. Over. Here's first. Group effort. So the doorkeeper catches people up to speed so they got a full stop and rehab. They also make sure they're new are how to make themselves comfortable on that role. Thank you. would lead a process without um, I found this to be a sense it's important in terms of this on my own if I don't think I'm not gonna block intent. And this is a that you have to believe. It does go beyond improv.
using ice to speak to do so as well which I'm completely um, and also process work really you try to get to the room that day. Again, this is so John, thank you. So, and so he said that there can be two were to say, I have some. So, right. This is for me. Um, we've used a listening that happens. Mm. And then something else that uh, some of the community. We snap, and one of the values. There's a lot of experience there, and there's one snap, and you know. I don't know why that reminds. Yes. Yeah, um, I do a lot of work. It's a big thing in Greece. The other side of that is hoops out. Someone mm -hmm. inadvertently goes to someone else in the room, whether we have a slouch moment and sort of Yes. Something interesting that I've only just recently dialogue is someone who's visually tracking the dialogue. But in a way that's not just a representation. So it might as a visual thinker, it's been really nice mm -hmm. to help me track conversation, acknowledging different people's different entrances. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 
so thank you. Go, uh, go past you. So, thank you. With that accomplished, the cultural organization. who saw themselves as cultural workers in exile and aesthetics grew out of that particular to decades, even centuries of art making, then sharpened by the ideologies of black consciousness, built upon the uprising that we call Soweto in 1962 and part of the 1980s grassroots mobilization. Madhu itself existed literally for some of our best members, at the hands of the South African goes on. In the of the liberation struggle, to build meaningful, productive oppression and oppression. Tommy Manele, one of the organizing art, should complement the act of or liberating the country. In context, she continues, each Medu member brought their own power. It's in the soil of the community, of the townships, bloss blossomed in the posters, in the music, in the poetry that Medu produced. of South African resistance art in particular has been and um, and played a pivotal role to share with you all today it seemed important that I look at my roots here as far back as I can reach confidence in the justice and fairness of people and an aversion to all things exclusive. I was a child who formed clubs that everybody could be in. Asking. I don't remember the specific events that were standing in our kitchen, bewildered, confused, and disoriented, upended by some injustice but to someone other, something I'd witnessed made no sense and conjured revolt, whatever it was. I am from South Louisiana, a rich place of festival, parades, culture on the outside. And by that I mean, yes, although it was in the 70s and 80s, schools, so white children in fourth grade were on one side of the building and black children were in fifth grade I went my my all white and now but no African American understand that there was anything the rest of the school was African American. And we only included competition, which did not help. So for the longest time, my narrative was that I had very limited exposure. But two forces in parallel challenged that culture. In the libraries of self-education, the civil rights movement, the struggle apartheid movement in South Africa. Opened, oh really? Okay. Opened windows to my world. In particular, Cry the Beloved Country by Alan Payton gave words to what I witnessed. 
to visible, but were not discussed or acknowledged. This South African novel humanly and vividly illustrated the system of oppression from their homes to distance Dismemberment of the familiar, the violent and methodical, who is slowly degraded until the murder. I read this book. Black faces on the trains. I saw the faces of those on the buses in Baton Rouge. even at the register of the drugstore. I had not consciously seen my world through this lens, but upon reading these novels, what had been unnamed. At parades, however, we stood side by side, black and white, calling for Mardi Gras beads, enjoying I didn't realize the grown-ups were actually intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> by the the revelry. Now perhaps there was political satire in those now of Mardi Gras, but I didn't see it or recognize just black and white, rich and poor in this dancing and singing and dressing up in costumes of society, of how and to whom and with whom and where. This glory with the ordinary rules suspended. And really, it seemed like there was a new Everybody dance if you want to. See? Mm -hmm. And then there's this funny balance. The quest to catch more throws and beads coupled with the odd and someone isn't catching anything. This generosity that flows as these beads, worthless but worth more than ever, grown, standing next to you, empty-handed, just for the sheer sake of sharing. So it should come as no surprise in Charlottesville when my rage against the world, this country, rude awakenings as we as states, learning that leaders lie, iron contra, just a loss of faith in the American dream and democracy. When I met Bread and Puppet, something lifted and shifted, a marriage of passionate to my roots. I skipped school for a week or more and spent every moment they'd let me with them. Villains I hadn't met before, I was thrilled that there were other a way to talk about all this on a scale that approached the scale of suffering, that it was we left town and we kept making puppets, inserting ourselves creating abstract protests and criticism around the very downtown mall in Charlottesville where hate coiled and with my shaved head, flowered dresses, combat boots, and the courage of my convictions, had the incredible privilege with me. Together we crossed color lines in I spent my 20-something art and my days like going about town with a Invading the art and music studios of my friends, drop and parade theater every so often. Their mother that I knew, teaching me how to stand up for myself, to challenge catcalling and man. A couple of years later, as quickly as I had arrived, I a journey, a trek, a quest, I don't know what, and one income communities and with communities of color in Washington D. No puppets, no parades. I didn't even go home for Mardi Gras. Anymore. 
so strange turn of events, I arrived at Spiral Q. Spiral Q, like, but instead used the form of rage theater protest active authorship from that community. that I see of activist theater. It's a total oversight. On one path, the art is made by artists, often used to assert research, conduct research conducted in community, often intended to persuade, educate, or On another path, the art is made by community members who may or may not identify organizers, not interpreters, but facilitators. The work reflects the ahas of the community rather than the artist. So Spiral Q works in the community's expressed positions with which we disagreed. Sort of a companion to the ACLU, but in the art world. Mm -hmm. Maddie Hart, the founder, was ready to return to university. Specific work of giant puppetry and parade. This time, walk softly being my first mantra, which evolved over with good intentions and what I think of an artist bull in a possibly even like my ancestors bringing. Some I'd certainly run into the rescue to give voice or raise a ruckus. On and as I mentioned, I'd exited community ghosting today. Mm -hmm. And so I try to walk softly. Mm -hmm. She's got her five. Okay, mm -hmm. six oh eight. All right. So I've shared some of the basics, self-care, roles, assume positive intent, check your puppet. Mm -hmm. Why puppets? <laughs> Last night I was watching Babylon and I was reminded of one of the things I think about often. At the world, learning by looking, sometimes lost in reverie. It in a very different way in our bodies, our minds, and our hearts. And I think we need this space and time. And so look at it for a while without apology, without questions. Why are big puppets helpful and inclusive? Require collective effort to make them and to operate them. They cannot be invisibilized. Distance, approaching and receding in the melee of all the stimuli out there, they manage their scale, inspires, excites. It's a protector. Is Eric Garner, remember which one and which in of an litany of lost life be so long that, the, that at this rally we brought three puppets, the wraiths. They are weeping with head coverings who appeared in many performances at the point of some with a very large police presence beyond. In order not to block the view of the crowd, remember, We didn't want to put the puppets in front. So we positioned ourselves behind the community and the police. As a maker for the crowd. And they were big enough to hold and in witness to this suffering when nothing seemed past them like a receiving line at a funeral and touched our shoulders
going to take two more mm -hmm. and we'll get to the yeah. yes. Thank you. <laughs> so, puppets can transcend text-based culture and experience and age, but this doesn't. Thousand Spiral Q brought a Day of the Dead parade to a new. Q was a large group of largely white artists who had some no real roots in it. So when they brought the parade to a largely African show as planned, this was no soft understand why these giant skeletons were walking in their One is, as artists, doors are often open to us when they might not otherwise be mindful of walking through those doors, even upon Fran Alston, who has now passed to the other side. Miss Alston believed in dialogue, forgiveness, and change. And she brought artists and a rich education about cultural appropriation and thoughtful interest huh. which will be a secular holiday and festival made by the it's a whole season and you couldn't stop peoplehood if you tried So I think I've probably shared about as much as any of us can. The most essential practice comes from John O'Neill, the founder of the Free Southern Theater and an organizing member of the Civil Story Circle is more than we can go into right now, but the premises are most essential. Everyone has the right to tell that story and that if we value that, then we must also, and most critically, learn to listen. I'm gonna remember the silence. I think that's helpful. But mostly about the And so I thank you for listening to Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Distance art in South Africa of their truth inspire me to says there can be no central role in the life of a people long ago for instance the on their livelihood and helped to ensure their survival painting was not entertainment nor were they that dominion over their environment to have, nor can struggle for liberation. Enacted on the stage for the audience to see are the experiences of their day. Failures, the traumas, the the world we live in together. And Maria, if you want to play the music soft, So in closing, I invite you to join me in a roll call of inspired us to do better, a more just and joyous world for all. Bond with Presente. But I'm actually going to pause. I can't do that and then take questions. The last thing.
John, right? Time. So we watch it. <laughs> <laughs> How a person feels about it. They have something similar, and they call them the gigantes. You know, people do masks and the whole thing. But, and I'm going to be sincere. Like some puppets. And I didn't want to. But then, when I came on, I said, oh my God. I think this is my calling. There really was no arts program for um, a number of years. So Spiral Q was a wonderful opportunity for our students to get involved in arts in a hands-on experience. Definitely helps. with the rest of the curriculum now. So as the students were doing their journal writing and their literature blocks. Health service experience with Spiral Q has really that the students have had an opportunity is how to work together as a team to problem solve and to collaborate. The kids are so enthusiastic about wanting your Spiral Q time. And that's what I mean when I say that Spiral Q has been so important to it, It's often art, but it's in a way that's really different than how they learn throughout the rest of the day. My name is Daniel Hunter and I work with Casino Free Philadelphia. I also work with both very clear about our framing, but also is one that understands the use of this groups, and not just as a puppet theater, but I think of it as a space to help think uh, 
using SparrowQ to create new puppets, and then also using SparrowQ as a resource to help us think about both our framing and our message and the way, the kinds of visuals that we can use. And all of these social justice issues, from casinos to affordable housing, were both about uh, the right to information and what it means to live. No one else in Philadelphia who because of that, uh, I see Sparrowview's work as is just so meaningful to us. I didn't talk to y'all about like accessible technologies, you know, recycled, reclaimed materials. It's like the one of the most foundational parts of our work because I'm so busy thinking about all of these other things. But let me open the floor to you all. You said that you assist um, groups that even uh, want to communicate causes or beliefs that your group doesn't support. Like, mm -hmm. can you give some examples of that? Because it feels like things are so polarized, both right, right. Like, uh, right and left, that it seems kind of almost incredible that anyone's that that willing happen. to help anyone else convey a message they don't agree with. Yeah. So one of the really challenging ones, uh, we there was a I got a call from the minister of a Baptist church who was trying to raise awareness in his community about HIV and AIDS. And their uh, message was an abstinence only message. That was, that, that was really all they had room for. And um, as a community, as a group who's, you know, had, our founding work was with ACT UP Philly. Um, for some of you who don't know, that's a pretty, ra it's a radical group that really, I mean, we were for needle exchange, harm reduction, I mean, it was, and so myself and another artist were on our way over to this church and I said, oh, by the way, we could get there and find out that we're helping them organize an abstinence rally. And, um, and uh, you know, she, um, she said, I, I think I might need to get out of the car. <laughs> and, uh, and I said, I know, that's why we're talking about this. But, but we also really profoundly believe that one of the most important thing, aside from hate speech, violence, and destruction, right, is that people have an opportunity to work through ideas and to and an artistic dialogue and a creative process. And thank heavens we did because we got there and, um, and we were ready to go and we were like, okay, we're gonna do this and how are we gonna put, honestly put creative thinking. Pulled me aside and he said, okay, so I have to do this abstinence only message but I can't control what an outsider does. Wow. And, um, and my community is dying. And I said, okay. And so the next thing we knew, we actually got, like we did a little bit of work, but what we really did was we got, and they worked hand in hand with him and really put some, helped to put some interventions where he could protect his mm -hmm. well, stuff, right? Um, and so you know, we had to get in the car, and we had to get all the way there knowing that we didn't know what we were going to do. So that's an example. I don't know if that else. Yes? You talked a little bit about going into, in your walking softly, I believe, mm -hmm. talked about going into communities and how you now extricate yourself, but in a way that might be a little more like leading sustainable practices. I'd be curious mm -hmm. about what that model looks like in this mm -hmm. thoughtful practice Have you shut where, you're, the door? <laughs> where you're not just coming in going, yay, let's do crazy stuff, see you later, good luck. Right. So, so that there's something. So we started doing two things. Um, one is instead of like seeing opportunities or seeing like cool spaces or seeing a community who we thought might be in need, we started only 
to promote it. Like we let, like we And so we worked in one in a community for five years, um, doing a process and making a parade and a festival every year. And the first year, they said um, they just we wanted to just celebrate what was rich about that community. And so we made giant paper mache barbecue pits and a huge boom box and all this stuff. And by the about the fourth year, they were like, we are got we've got to start. And, um, and then a few months after one of the events, um, we'd been doing a parade and we were parading through a neighborhood and the community had, like I worked with the community to map the parade route, okay? And they were clear, this is the route we're taking. Um, and uh, we said, you're welcome to escort us, but we don't, you don't have to be here. And they said, well, we can't go there, that's dangerous. So the community has said we're going here. Um, and so we went through this area. About six months later, there was sort of a rash of shootings, and um, and the community organized a whole march, a whole vigil. They called us and and we said, "Do you need anything?" And they said, "Oh, we just need you to show up to help plan to get permits." They didn't need they didn't need any of that, and that was for me just like, oh, you know, they all don't go like that. And we try to talk about intentionality with that. Um, and that whole, like when I say I deconstruct process in, in it, we use the process as a training. Just being a training, and then, then we are in like how great that particular pop. Decided that we were going to, like in terms of, we did need to have some long-term work because it gets, it's hard to be an artist who goes into a community and leaves and goes into a community and leaves and then where do you see the long-term change? And so we did decide to make a commitment to our base community and our home geographic community and that's been really, really rewarding. Um, and we have kids now, well we have grown people now coming and working um, with us as, a, as staff members who were children in a parade like and had a huge gap or have had mothers come in and bring their children and say, where a lot of the wealth and privileges so we weren't there very much um, I now live in the in upstate and am